All right, so let's begin. Let's begin with some jargon. Any expression in the form of some number, who knows what it is, I'll just call it A for the moment, variable squared plus another number, same variable plus C, is called a quadratic expression. I'm being very boring and very teacher-like. Here's the definition, off we go. Um, there's an expression, I can make this a quadratic equation, if I equate it to something, equals 7, there's a quadratic equation. I can make this a quadratic function if I say, you know, y equals this. But any expression of the form of this nature is called quadratic. Alright, great, so, so what? Well, there's something very deeply perturbing about this. Quadratic, the prefix is quad. What does quad mean? Quad means 4. Where on earth is the number 4 in that expression? Who chose to call these guys quadratic expression, expressions when there's things here that are only up to the second power? That is bizarre. Now, we call an equation like this ax plus b linear, because I guess because if you graph it makes a straight line. Uh, these guys are quadratic, mysterious. We call things like ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d cubic, because it's got an x cubed in it. We call things like ax to the fourth plus bx cubed and so on. Quartic, quart being four as well, because it's got a fourth in it. So these guys with a power of two should be called bitic or something, or, or two-adic or something. Why the prefix quad? Well, the answer is, turns out people discovered that these expressions are intimately related to quadrangles. For example, I gave you a quadrangle problem and said that the area of this quadrangle, quadrangle is another word for rectangle, 64 units, and it's, uh, one side is four feet longer than the other, x times x plus four, apparently is 64. Well, it turns out if I set the algebra for that problem, it's actually an equation like this I need to solve. So these, these expressions became related to quadrangle problems, hence the name quadratic. But more important than that, turns out that solutions, how to figure out a solution, is intimately involved with quadrics, quadratics, quadrangles. In fact, very nice quadratics, squares. There's a lovely method invented by the Greeks and scholars thereafter that says if you use the symmetry of a square of this very beautiful quadrangle, it actually leads to solving these equations with ease. So that became known as the quadrangle method. These became known as quadratic equations, hence the name quad. Not because of the exponent, but because of the method behind playing with them. So let's learn that method.